All right, so today we're going to show you how to install the new CVT clutch kit for a 2018-2017 Ski-Doo G4 Rev. Um, so the first thing you got to do, obviously, is take off the side panel on this side of the sled and remove your clutch cover if you haven't ever done so. And third, you got to move the belt. Okay, now the first step after you have the clutch cover removed, you got to draw all four of these rivets on the side to replace it with the new CVT cover. Okay, so next up after you remove the covers, you gotta take off these three rivets that hold on the front clamp for the brace, and you will be reinstalling that clip with a new one that will go on the face of the guard, not behind it like the previous one. So it'll go like this. this. Don't need this anymore because now this is a junk part so don't need that anymore all right so after you just drilled out that piece we're gonna go in the hardware kit right here and we're gonna find three silver rivets for the front clamp which is right here and we'll be installing the first two with the original holes on the brace and the third one we have to drill out right here because there's no hole for that in the previous spot So we're going to use a 3 16th drill bit to drill out that third hole that does not exist. Be careful it pops, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to install the third rivet and it should be good to go. Alright, so now it's time for the new cover, CVT cover, and it should line up with the pre-existing holes. We did have to change the head out on the rivet gun because those rivets are smaller. Um, these rivets are the snowmobile rivets, so you can get an ace, but the kit comes with them, comes with four, or no, it comes with five. Um, and they should just fit into the pre-existing holes right there. We should be good. Okay, now that's installed, um, we're going to take off all of the old clutch tools from the old uh, CVT system and the belt and place one there. And that should be complete for the belt cover. Okay, that's what it should look like after you have all your tools and your belt on the belt guard and the finishing product of the clamp for the front. And this thing is all set to go. Alright, so we already installed this bracket on the back of the clutch. Um, to only, it's very simple, you just have to remove this bolt right here. There's three bolts, there's one right here, there's one right here, and there's another right in the back on the other side, and you have to reinstall the new one with the new 13 millimeter bolt that you have to, is pre-existing, you take that one off, and this thing slides on pretty easy. This is the, probably the easiest part of the uh, assembly are the two front guards, or braces I should say. So yeah, now we gotta remove this one, which will take two 10, mm, 10 millimeter bolts right off the cast front of the motor mount and two torque heads that come right off the oil reservoir and take that one the new bracket so we're gonna start these bolts before we actually hit it with the air gun because yesterday we installed it on another machine and we actually cross it in the cast so that wasn't good Just a sip. Right, 
Now we're gonna install the pre-existing ports back into the oil reservoir. That's it. So now that we have the clutch cover and the brackets all buttoned up and ready to go, we can move on to the panel. So this is the big uh, project here because if you mess this up, you're done. So you gotta remove this foam right here because that's where the new vent is gonna go. So remove that, John. There's a clear film under here too. So if you grab the clear film, which is stuck to, it will pull it right up. So. Discard. So if you didn't already, you gotta go to brp.instructions.com and print out the part number. It's on type of the part number, print out your template. Um, as you see, he's cutting it out very symmetrical with the line because if you mess, this is your template and this actually, this line has to line up perfectly with the end of this panel. So templates are cheap, panels are expensive. So go get the template for free anyway. We're just gonna clean the panel so when you tape this on there, it doesn't actually sticks to it. Bingo! Oh, for all you guys that have the trail models, if you had a pre-existing uh, knee pad, you got the knee pad kit, you're gonna have to remove that because obviously the new vent is gonna be go on there. And honestly, it looks pretty cool, so. So the directions call for a 21 by 64 inch drill bit, which we got in the drill, and we're gonna start drilling these holes. Now that we drilled all six holes, um, we made pilot holes on each curve just to get us helps uh, just help us start with the body cutter. That's what we're gonna use. Show them what we're using. Okay, so we're gonna use the body cutter. I'm gonna hold it as he does it because you don't want to scratch up your panel. So you can kind of see how it melts on the side. We're gonna take a file and just file this stuff down and get all the burrs nice and smooth so that when we put the uh, finishing product on there, it'll look a lot better. Just keep in mind too is that when you cut this and you get all sketched out when you see it at the end, you're not gonna see this cut at all because this is gonna go right over there. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to look nice because you'll never see it. So don't get all nervous when you make it line that's oblong or mess up because you'll never see the line. As long as this fits under there, you're good. All right, so now we're gonna take the vent piece itself, place it on the panel and see how everything lines up and make adjustments, fine adjustments. Uh, right there. So that flopped on there pretty nice, but we'll flip it around. And you can kind of see that uh, there might be a little bit of trimming right there. But that's it, guys. That's we, we nailed it pretty good. That's it. Actually, honestly, oh, maybe we don't have to trim it at all. All right, so we just nailed it around the head. So we're good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this piece. Um, one thing I didn't film is that we had to place this foam around the vent connector, whatever you want to call this thing. Um, you just sticky foam, bring it inside, heat it up, so you get a good seal and a bond. You just place this foam right here and right here, and then we're gonna place it on the back side of the panel, like so. All right, so we decided we're not even gonna hit it with the air gun because it's plastic and we don't wanna really uh, damage anything. It's just, you know, it's not hard. It just takes a little bit more time. All right, so after you tighten all those eight millimeter plastic screws, you're gonna come over and place the panel on the machine. So last step, you gotta put the panel back on and obviously you get the hook on. Nice, but why is it not? Whoops. So here's your vent, and it looks pretty clean. Obviously, you'll have to unclip it when you have the hood and everything on, but uh, basically, the air will get sucked out of the vent and be pushed out through the panel, 
And honestly guys, people are saying that it's not gonna work because there's no fins in the secondary, but the dealer tells me they've done tests, BRP as in, um, has done tests, and they say that even without the fins on the secondary, um, heat still gets pushed out and it creates cooler air that gets sucked in through here from the P-Drive clutch, so um, I don't know, we'll see how it tries for $80, it's, I think it's a good deal. Um, but besides the fact, um, the cooling issue, it just looks good. And not only that, the, the way the panel and the um, well, you, if you guys have trouble, the way that this new guard comes off is so much easier compared to the other one. The other one is just such a pain. This one slides on like it's nothing. Just like the old XPs and XS chassis. Like that, I guess, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for watching the video. And uh, peace out.